chapter on what has been related about protecting the tongue. Uqba bin Amir narrated, I said, O Messenger of Allah, what is the means to salvation? He said that you control your tongue, suffice yourself your house, and cry over your sins. This hadith is graded da'if or weak. Comments The hadith tells us in no uncertain terms that the secret of success in the hereafter lies 1. in restraining the tongue from the idle misdirected talks and in speaking only purposeful things 2. in not going out of the houses or wandering about without a meaningful aim or purpose and 3. in shedding tears of repentance and asking for Allah's forgiveness and mercy for one's sins of omission and commission Abu Sa'id al-Khudri narrated that the Prophet peace be upon him said when the son of Adam wakes up in the morning all of his body parts bow to the tongue and say fear Allah regarding us we are only part of you if you are straight we are straight and if you are crooked we are crooked this hadith is graded Hassan or good comments it is an undeniable truth that of all the apparent parts of a man's body it is the tongue that is more closely connected with his wrongdoings and acts of sin. As such, all the parts of the human body remind it every day with all humility and submissiveness at their command that all their affairs, their success, their prosperity, and their good or bad end are inalienably linked to it. They, therefore, entreat it to have compassion on them and keep within the boundaries set by Allah since any wrongdoing on the part of the tongue could spell doom and ruination for them all. Sahel bin Sa'ad narrated that the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Whoever guarantees for me what is between his jaws and what is between his legs, I shall guarantee paradise for him. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments of all the body parts of man, with the exception of the tongue, whose wayward behavior spells great disaster for him and whose guarding is the paramount need of him is his place of shame. Hence, it is that the Prophet, peace be upon him, has declared that anyone who jealously guards his place of shame, he, peace be upon him, on Allah's behalf, will guarantee his place in paradise. Abu Huraira narrated, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, For whomever Allah protects against the evil of what is between his jaws and the evil of what is between his legs, he shall enter paradise. This hadith is graded Hassan or good. Comments Sins committed by the man's tongue and his place of shame act as harbingers for other acts of sin, and whoever can guard himself against the sins of these parts can also ward off other acts of sin and make himself deserving of a place in paradise. Sufyan bin Abdullah al thaqafi said, I said, O Messenger of Allah, inform me about a matter that I may hold fast to. He said, Say, My Lord is Allah, then be steadfast. I said, O Messenger of Allah, what do you fear most for me? So he took hold of his tongue and said, This. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments The thing most fraught with risk for man is the misuse of the tongue. It, therefore, behooves man to studiously guard it against misuse.